What's up everybody, Joshua Fish Stewart here, bringing you another video. Now, today, they are going in here. You and the quarter are going in here. Now let me show you some things that I did. I put these rocks, don't mind that. I put these rocks stacked up in the corner. So that way these little small fish can hide. I'm not worried about the big fish. I'm worried about my red tail that is over there. That's what I'm worried about. So I stacked the rocks up in the corner like so, so they can have some hiding spots. And you can see on this side again, where they can hide underneath there, go through, back and forth, some over there. So we should be good. They're getting the water changed, much needed as you can see the water. Um, it's just actually the light that makes it that green color, which is weird. Anyways, so he's gonna stay or she, it's gonna stay until it gets bigger. And as soon as, we'll see, that's why it's not growing because of stress. So as soon as I move the Golden Dorado and the Oscars out, then I'll work on uh, getting this one nice and plump and then the same for the uh, Black Belt Cichlids. Also, since we're in this tank, these are not Frontosas. These are Trent Cichlids or five bar cichlids, I think they're called, or five line cichlids, whatever they're called, uh, something like that. These are not frontosas. I have a frontosa in this tank. Matter of fact, it's a red one. You can see it back there, right? Now, let me see if I can There he is right there. As you can see, the other ones, the tret ticklet, are more torpedoes. He's more broader and rounder. Red frontosa right there. That's what a frontosa looks like. He is not full grown. All right, so now we get back to the tret cichlids. This is full grown. She will not get any bigger. Oh wait, is this the male or the female? Uh, this is the male. Male? Where's the, no that's the female. This is the male. You can see he's pretty big. They're long in torpedo and their fins make them look a little broader. Tret ticklet. So that's the difference between them. I mean, there's plenty more, sorry for the glass. There's plenty more differences between them. That's the alpha male right there. Nice big guy too. I want him to come out even more so we can see him, but uh, yeah. So, Tret, Frontosa. Are they from the same family? Probably, two different fish. So, just wanna clarify that. Um, yeah, so now, let's get these guys and girls into the bucket, and then we're gonna acclimate them, get that water, put it in the bucket, and then I'll put them in and then I'll do my Golden Dorado next. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so I just got two of them out. I had to use my big old uh, plastic net so that way they didn't get busted up. Beautiful fish, and they're pretty big. Like 12 inch bucket. Yeah, they're nowhere across, but one side to another, 
They're about five inches, five and a half, and that's the big guy over there. So they're nice size. Say hi, Bruno. Nothing? Okay, thank you. At least you're consistent. That's them right there. We have, let me put that back on there. We have one more to go. And it looks, looks small. Like now that I know how big they are, he might be a little bit bigger than what I think, but I don't know. So I'm a little hesitant. I think I might just leave him in here. Leave him in here. Um, say forget it because he's still kind of small so just forget it and then I'll be getting that guy out and then maybe maybe we'll see and uh, the giant red tail maybe I'll get him out but we'll see how the arowana wants to act oh sorry for the glare yeah because he'll be a top water fish especially in the very beginning so I think I'm gonna wait on him I think I'm gonna wait on the Oscar um just get these ones acclimated and then go for the golden dorado and as soon as the golden dorado gets out then all these fish should start coming over so that's what we're hoping and at least right here because that guy's controlling the tank so we'll see how it works stay tuned i'll get them acclimated and then i'll put them in there okay so they are done acclimating I'm going to get one at a time so I can show you like compared to my hand they're pretty big let's put them in here's one Here comes the other one. All right, let's get you guys hooked off. Take you off the uh, tripod. So, the Oscar is right behind there. Oh, here we go. Like, if you don't know how massive these fish are, look at that. He's pretty big. Beautiful, beautiful. This one kind of has a messed up jaw and i didn't notice that and i don't care too much but uh i like my fish to look pretty good like that one that's a good looking one right there looks like a female to me sorry there's gonna be a glare but they don't look like they're messing with them too much. So they're pretty decent size. But you see how big the uh, African cichlid is. Like you think, people think the African cichlid is just like super tiny and he's really not. He's just tiny compared to all these other cichlids. Look at that, look at that. I think they're going to do great in here. I think the water changed help um, to just relax everybody. I did some feeding, so I dropped some tilapia. He has some in his mouth. The bread tail got some and the arowana. So I think that we're uh, looking good so far. And just putting them in there, now the tank is even fuller. So just imagine when they're as big as the tilapia or even as big as one of these silver dollars. 
So it's gonna be pretty cool to see. So we are done putting them in. Just beautiful, beautiful. So we're done with that. Now we are going to put in, where did you go? This guy, the Golden Dorado. We're gonna put him in, see what, okay, hello again, hello. See how he does, he's pretty big, I guess, but we're gonna catch him, put him in the tub, uh, get him acclimated, and then put him in. All right, he's in there, he's acclimated. Again, he is pretty big, and you can't tell in this tank. Look at that, doing great. Okay, let's put you on the tripod. It is loud because I'm doing the water change there, so it's flashing. But you guys still should be able to hear me. All right, boom. Right there, don't go anywhere. All right, let's zoom in so we can see. Perfect, perfect. And then a net, wherever that is at. Let's take you guys off of here. Boom. Come on. Focus, good. Now the only thing is he doesn't know he's next to a monster. So that is not okay. But what I'm hoping is when he starts to swim around, he can swim around with these uh, tarpon, Indo-Pacific tarpon. That's what I'm hoping. There you go, because he likes to school anyways. So, he's gonna wanna stay within the school. Uh, hopefully, let's try to clean that just a minute. Okay. What we're hoping is the arowana doesn't see him as food, but I don't think so. Tarpon coming to check him out, right? Exactly what I thought he was gonna do. In there with the tarpon, perfect. And as you can see, he's also pretty big. It fits in very well, so. I think he'll be in with the tarpon, he'll do fine, or she, um, and yeah. Thank you for watching everybody, make sure you like that and subscribe it, subscribe and share and whatever, show everybody. Doing a great job, I'll give you an update soon. Enjoy yourself if I don't see you, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, see you later.